the the difficulties that temporary dislocations in the currency bring about are something that all of us have. It, it touches all of us, and there's a need for us to find solutions. But I'm thinking that our public discourse should also begin to focus much more on some of the structural problems involved in, in, in our currency than we have, you know, yes, uh, uh, there, are, there are moments when you, you can you can fault or, or, or look askance at the manner in which the currency is being managed at any one given time. But there are structural problems that we so far do not articulate loudly enough, in my view. What are these structural problems? We live in a country where we are overly dependent on the importation of things for our daily sustenance. Things that we can produce, we continue to import them. And at the same time, we don't generate enough exports. We need, because it, it is the issue on the, on the current account, the persistent deficits in our national income statistics on current account, that is, the responsive, that is what, what gives rise to the frailty of our currency. This is a matter that we should, all of us, understand as the origin of the real fragility of our currency.